Howard folk, my name is the Meta Goblin, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to completely remaster Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. In this video, we're going to be running through retexture mods, there's a lot of them available to make a game look very smart and up to date. We've got high resolution effects mods, so you know, change how blaster fire looks and stuff like that. We also have a mod which will completely change the camera's uh, field of view, which makes it look very high quality and very up to date. It makes a massive difference. And also, we'll be covering a great mod, we can talk about this game, you know, without mentioning this mod, it is a great mod which will restore loads of the cut content from the game, and will probably double the amount of uh, potential playtime, uh, you know, playing this game. I recently did a playthrough, and it took me about 30 hours to get, just to get through this game. So, you know, recent, I mean, I completed it, I've completed it in the past in about 12 hours, so this is like an absolutely phenomenal mod. And it's called the, um, obviously, the restored content, uh, uh, modification. So, anyway, before I jump in, be sure to watch the entire video so you don't completely destroy your game and have to reinstall it or something like that. Be sure to like the video so um, my rest, of, rest of my subscribers can actually see the video appear in their uh, on their homepage. And be sure to subscribe so you won't miss my next video. We'll be doing a quick like little bonus video of how to get Halo 3 to work online for the PC. For the PC. Halo 3 online for PC. Be sure to stay tuned for that video. So, you may not know, but in 2015, round about, uh, Disney re-released this game, probably when the Star Wars film came out and all that jazz. Um, you know, they basically made it work better on their wide, you know, widescreen monitors. They made the game work on high resolution. You probably bumped this game up to like 5K resolution these days. And we even got the Steam Workshop, uh, you know, integrated into the Steam version of the game, so it's very easy to install a lot of these mods. If um, I will be pointing out whether a mod isn't on the uh, Steam, because uh, the Nexus also has a lot of mods which are worth checking out, so, you know, I've just linked... Uh, I'll have those links in the description, you know, to the uh, Nexus uh, version, Nexus portal for this game. No, most of them are very easy to install, you just have to jump your folder into... jump the folders into your override folder. But anyway, uh, let's just uh, jump in. First we have the Ebon Hawk retexture mod. This is available on Steam. You know, when you're downloading mod mods in the workshop, all you do is press that subscribe button and then it automatically installs. This is quite a big mod, it's like 260 megabytes, something like that, so it will take quite a while to download, so make sure it actually properly downloads before you launch the game, otherwise it obviously won't uh, work. This makes the Ebon Hawk look, I mean, just absolutely phenomenal. It, it looks pretty smart, it looks, um, I mean, like, it, it's not it's not really about just increasing the resolution, really, uh, with these uh, mods, uh, well, this particular mod. If it's just, it just makes it look a bit more colourful. The Ebon Hawk had a lot of bleak colours. It also kind of makes you feel that they forgot to colour in the game sometimes. You know, when you do play this game, the colours are a bit bland, a bit horrible. And obviously this game was rushed, and um, we'll talk a bit more, bit more about that later. And um, the, well, yeah, the re retexture version of the Ebon Hawk is also featured in most of the cutscenes, so that is also a pretty cool thing. Next, um, I'm going to actually adjust my... Yeah, my pop filter was messing up a bit there. Um, next we have a camera mod. Um, this, I mean, this, this is, okay, so this mod is on the Nexus, right? You have, uh, you don't just have to go for the option that I'm, you know, showcasing here in the background footage. There is a uh, different field of view options, if you don't like, if you think this is a bit too extreme, but, oh my days, doesn't this camera mod just make a massive difference? It makes the game, this slight little camera difference makes it look like you're playing a completely different game. And it just, it really, you know, like, assinu assinuates these retexture mods, it makes everything look ten times better. Um, you ha also have different options, obviously, so you have a nine, you have 103, which is what you're seeing now, and then you have 90 or 80 field of view, so you can take down a field of view a little bit more if you don't, if, if you don't like it, but... I mean, this, I, I know, it's just like this little camera fix just makes the game look absolutely phenomenal, it's great. Um, and yeah, this mod is on the Nexus, you just have to download it and put the file called camera something into the override folder. Override folder is in, you know, your main folder, and then just, yeah, it's just in your main folder. Pretty easy to find. Thirdly, we have a mod which completely uh, improves the effects of the game. I guess it, it, I guess it is a retexture mod, isn't it? Yeah. Let's not talk semantics. Um, so, yeah, this is mostly going to uh, change the force powers in the game. You've got your droid, uh, ri oh, and the, yeah, you've a droid wrist gadgets, you know, when you put, like, a wrist gadget on on a droid and they can shoot, like, 
fire and ice and iron kind of beams and stuff. It's going to change all that kind of uh, cool stuff. Uh, I mean, the, big, the biggest thing really is that, you know, when you use force lightning or force storm, it's it's actually going to look like lightning. Unless, I've noticed that like, it just looks like a quick, horrible blur. It's going to make the lightning actually look more realistic to the films as well, because the, the lightning like effects, like the little... What would you call it? Like a, the streams or seams of lightning are going to crackle more and flicker about and just generally look a lot cooler. So let's finish off this little section by quick firing a few other retexture mods I definitely recommend. You've got Fire and Ice, basically just retextures the Fire and Ice effects in the game. This is on Steam, very easy to download. You've got Creature Texture Enhancement. I don't think it's a complete retexture, but it just makes the creatures just look a little better. You know, a bit more colourful. That is on Steam. You've got Telos OTE. This is on the Nexus. It completely retextures in the entire of uh, Telos, Telos uh, Citadel Station. And uh, yeah, makes it look very smart. You've got high quality blasters. Got this installed. Um, this is very easy to install, actually. You just download it and it automatically installs a uh, file for you, which is really cool. It's on the Nexus. It makes the. It just makes the guns themselves actually look. Well, just. I actually like guns, a lot of the uh, gun effect or gun textures in the game looked very blurry and kind of bl uh, bubbly and horrible. So this will just make um, the well, just make the guns look a lot better and also their icons in the interface. And the lastly, you've got a uh, Nashadar retexture, just completely retextures. Nashadar makes it look, uh, well again, like we talked about it before, the, the colours are just absolutely kind of like horrible in this game. You've got very blocky kind of horrible colours in the game and just make this makes everything just look a bit sharper and a bit more colourful. Now it is time to talk about one of the greatest mods to ever happen to any video game really. I know you've got Skyrim with a big modding community and you've got like um, Foul Sky and all that kind of jazz but this this mod is um it just it's just it's just I, I, I just I mean I can talk about it all day. Um, I have talked about this mod before in a, in a video where I was talking about secretly cool app or role-playing games because I think it is definitely very underappreciated. The mod is called the Sith Lords Restored Content Modification. Um, you can easily, uh, very easily just install this through Steam by pressing that subscribe button and it's happy days. So the story goes that this particular game was uh, definitely, definitely rushed to development because of, well, publishers and their firm deadlines. But what modders discovered is that there, there were unused files on the disc, you know, the, the retail version of the game that was released in 2004. There was files on the disc that weren't really being used in the game, and uh, they decided to come to be absolute, complete diamonds and restore all of the uh, cut content. Well, unfortunately, not all of it. But um, this mod is going to bring, like, cut quests back. It's going to actually, you know, there's actually, like, little cut scenes which have been completely cut from the game, and... This will bring actual lines of dialogue that you have not seen before. I mean, there's cut lines of dialogue from Skyrim and stuff which have been restored, but yeah, actual actual voice acting is restored in this mod. It's absolutely amazing. The best example of this is the HK Factory quest. It was a quest that you uh, got from HK. You had to go around killing over HK assassin droids, getting certain parts from them to restore the HK droid, and then you start killing them again to, I think you'd have to find like a, you'd basically have to track what where the, H, the HK factory was and you'd do that and then all of a sudden the quest would just end and you couldn't do anything and it was dreadful um, so that entire, it's like an entire long scenario where you've got to, got to go around jumping this, um, you've got to jump around this uh, HK factory base as uh, playing HK47 and destroy loads of HK50s and the HK51s as well and it's a very interesting quest and it's quite funny um, very difficult though to play on the hardest difficulty, that's my personal recommendation, turn the difficulty down when you do this that particular quest. Um, and you also have a lot more dialogue options in the game, you can be even more evil if you want to. And you've got a lot of uh, shitload of bug, bug fixes as well, um, but you just simply cannot play the game without it anymore, I don't think. And just lastly, I'm going to talk about the uh, last mod, which is called Content Pack uh, Feats and Powers, it's going to add a few cool and interesting feats and powers to the game, like you've got stuff like the power to use your strength, like there's this power called Dark Rage, you cast it and then you start, you, for a certain amount of time, your force powers will be governed by your strength, so the higher strength stat, the more powerful your force powers are temporarily, which is pretty cool if you're like a tanky, kind of strength warrior kind of build, you want to use some force powers, I and mean, then you can switch it over, 
Uh, you've got feats to increase shield effectiveness or increase med pack effectiveness, when you're below 25% health. A lot of them are very balanced, um, not very overpowered, and just make the game a little bit more interesting, a bit more... It just sounds a little bit more strategy to the game. You can change things around, you can play the game in a completely new and different way. Well, new more ways and uh, stuff like that. So, that's pretty much where I'm going to end the video. On the screen right now, you're probably going to see very similar videos. Um, stay tuned for more remastering videos like this coming very soon. My name is the Meta Goblin, and until my next video, ciao.